Uh, I'm conscious that uh, uh, there's been a review of the sales menu has been sent out and uh, that will have raised a number of feelings or emotions around uh, what we currently do. Some of us may, may be very excited about what, what this stands for. Others may feel very exposed about, well, hey, that's not the way I do things. From my perspective, I want to assist you to get the best you can out of your roles, to enjoy what you do, to also understand, so therefore we become consciously competent rather than unconsciously competent or unconsciously incompetent. And so this is a journey to, to help you to get what you want out of your roles and also ultimately make more money for yourself, which makes more money for the company. And success breeds success. If this manual doesn't work for you, I'm absolutely happy for that if you're achieving what the company and what you want to achieve. So you can throw it out the window. However, if you want to improve, you can adopt part of it or all of it. All right? So it's not an all or nothing type situation. And what I want you all to realise too, that I am not here to get you to parrot things. This is not learned by rote. It's, uh, what I want to show is the psychology of sales. So whilst I have a sales background, I have a marketing background <clears throat> and a business background, it is the psychology of people, the way that people tick um, that's important. And effectively it's like a chess game when we deal with people and understanding all the different clues of what's going on. So I hope to help you with those things. And the best way to do that is role play. So I'll get that out on the table now and people go, oh no, role plays, I hate them. And normally for a good reason, because it's humiliating, um, it, it's, uh, we don't act as normal um, and we get set up for failure. Well, in my mind, I want to set you up for success. I want you to be involved in role plays if you want to be, but I'll also challenge you if you want to be, but you're not stepping forward. And it's just not about you that's on the role play, it's about the people who are observing, because what I do is ask all the questions, what did we see, what did we pick up on? and the people who are in role, it's not who they normally are, it's not what they'd normally say, it's how to identify what's gone on. Okay, and so for most companies, well, all companies that I've worked with, they say they hate role plays, but the benefit we get out of them is absolutely phenomenal. Cell phones off is important, um, and I know a lot of us turn things to silent, we have to check what's going on. My personal view is if they can be off uh, fully, that's great, you make your own choices around that. Um, I'm also conscious that that should flow through to the way where we go and see clients. There is no one more important than the person that's in front of you. And I'm here to assist you with that. Okay, so this is, whilst this is the, a, a training program today, I'm willing to, to help you as, as much as possible. And it doesn't matter what time of day or night it is, we make things work. I, I, I try to be responsive uh, time-wise. So okay, but uh, that's fine. But it's, it's, that's part of the engagement is to make that happen. I haven't been forcing myself on you, but I'm here to actually help, okay? And keep in mind, when we talk through things, I will straight away know the things that you haven't done. That is okay, okay? Because when you say something, I think, well, hang on a sec, that hasn't been done in the sequence. Mm -hmm.